KKL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618 on our weather rundown today. It is going to be a little bit stickier. I think the humidity will go up to kind of the muggy, sticky levels today and tomorrow, but then fall just in time for the weekend. We are also watching possible heavy rain late Friday into Saturday as low pressure moves by to our south. Rain should end on Saturday. Sunday looks mainly dry. News 8 Storm Team forecast today calling for a mix of clouds and sunshine. An isolated evening thunderstorm isn't out of the question. We have a cold front dropping in from the north, and that's what could spark that thunderstorm later on. Today's highs should be warmer in the mid-80s. For tonight, mostly cloudy and isolated thunder shower as well. Muggy overnight lows will be in the upper 60s to near 70. And tomorrow, low pressure riding along a cold front to our south will bring in some rain, mainly during the afternoon and toward evening, overnight as well, and it could be locally heavy at times. So we're going to be watching that for you as we just need about an inch of rain in an hour to cause some flooding. Live in Hanover at 70 degrees, dew point is at 68, so that has come up. Might feel a little stickier out there, but not oppressive like it was last week as we head into the afternoon. Temperature check 68 degrees in Lebanon, 71 in Chambersburg. It's 69 degrees in Sealands Grove with some clouds. And generally everybody sees cloudy skies, that low level moisture increasing, and dew points right now in the mid to upper 60s. Your weather and health report today calls for moderate air quality. UV index is going to be a five, a little bit lower due to some cloud cover. And our Pollen is also low, predominantly weed pollen in the air. Live on Super Doppler 8, nothing really to track here. There could be a couple of sprinkles out and about this morning. Cold front that I'm talking about is now up over the Great Lakes and it will drop in late tonight. So our thunderstorm chances this evening, they're isolated, but it is certainly possible. Let me show you on the predictor. Here we are this evening. You don't see much. Predictor doesn't think we'll see much of anything. But as that front drops in, I'll give you the isolated shower or thunderstorm today and tonight. Now tomorrow, watch low pressure come out of the Ohio Valley, roll right to our south and provide some areas of heavier rain increasing tomorrow night into the first half of Saturday. So the predictor is not showing as much rain as I've seen in other computer models. We're going to keep that rain thread in there for the first half of Saturday with rain diminishing late. Here's your bay forecast for today. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies. Waves 1 to 2 feet. Southerly winds 5 to 10 knots. Beaches today, it's going to be sticky. Tomorrow, a better chance of some evening rain that will carry over into Saturday. But I think things wrap up on Sunday at the beaches as well as locally. So here's the extended forecast. Notice we have an impact day, something new on Friday. That's going to stick out to you and kind of give you a heads up on yeah, something clearing. that we're watching, yeah. right? So we're watching the impact for some heavy rain Friday night into Saturday. Saturday. We'll keep you posted on that because like I mentioned, our flash flood guidance is only one inch of rain in one hour right. to well, cause some flooding in a lot so of spots. And so many people were affected by that. So true, yeah. True. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank Christine, you. Christine, thank you.